between the time that red flags were first raised about Dr. Chu and Dr. Cheng uh, in late in the fall of 2018 through to the time uh, that they were marched out of the lab on July 5th of 2019, were any restrictions during that nearly 11-month window placed upon them in terms of their access to the lab? Uh, I'm going to uh, turn to my colleague. Um, at the time, um, the, um, the circumstances were still under investigation, and um, I would say that until the Canadian Security Intelligence Service was able to provide um, evidence um, that pointed to uh, their willing collaboration um, that was undeclared, um, and that would have been in June of 2020, there was not evidence of um, their um, affiliations with external actors. Ms. Jeffrey, I find that respectfully, and I know you weren't in charge at the time, but I find that astounding because in March of 2019, PHAC had a fact-finding report that indicated that there had been multiple breaches by Dr. Cheng and Dr. Chu with respect to security, with respect to intellectual property, and that indeed they had been on an un unauthorized basis collaborating with the TRC, including the People's Liberation Army. So how at Canada's highest security lab, a level four lab, would they have continued to have unfettered access with PHAC having that information? Uh, Mr. Chair, what I can say is that the um, evidence of their involvement in the talent programs and the uh, foreign associations um, and some of their travel um, were not uh, presented to uh, the Public Health Agency until June 30, 2020. The fact-finding report was presented to PHAC on March 23, 2019, and that report contained all of the things that I just mentioned. Um, it's very important, given the seriousness of allegations, that we have evidence um, to um, to back up the allegations. Ms. Jeffrey, it was um, a fact-finding report. What evidence was needed to say that perhaps it's not a good idea to have two scientists who are working with Beijing on an unauthorized basis, including the PLA, to have access to a level four lab? I think common sense would indicate uh, that uh, they should not have been there after that time. The administrative investigation um, that was concluded um, in, um, in the spring of 2019 specifically said that um, um, that an administrative investigation needed to be launched in order to determine if the allegations that had been raised in the fact-finding were indeed founded. Um, so they were still allegations at that point in time, and in July 2019, both employees, as a result of that, were placed on leave without pay.